Welcome to the BedMass app video lesson on long division by multi-digit divisors. With multi-digit divisors, it's harder to figure out the exact partial quotient for a place value, so it's best to do the partial quotient method. The idea is the same as regular long division, but you don't have to be exact. This reduces the number of large calculations. The only restriction is that your partial quotients can't exceed the actual partial quotient because this would involve negative partial quotients. Let's do an example. 13 divided into 3068. So we're looking at 13 into 30. The answer is going to be in the hundreds value. 13 goes into 30 two times, but suppose we don't see it and we just say it goes in one time. So we would enter 100. 100 times 13, 1300. Okay, we're in reverse input. Forgot about that. So let's, we enter 0031. Check. Now, again, we're in reverse input, so we'll do the subtraction in reverse. 8 minus 0, 8. 6 minus 0, 6. 0 minus 3 is 10 minus 3, because we're going to borrow, and then we have to another 1. Check. Okay. Now we're still looking at the hundreds place. 13 goes into 17 one time. So, no problem. It's, again, it's 1300. Now we subtract again. 8 minus 0, 6 minus 0, 7 minus 3, check. Okay, so if we look at the hundredths place, clearly 13 doesn't go into 4. So now we're looking at the tens place. Since 13 goes into 32 times, 13 must go into 46 at least two times. So let's enter 20. 20 times 13, we're doing reverse input, so 0. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. Now we subtract 8 minus 0. Oops, sorry. 8 minus 0, 6 minus zero, 6 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. And when we enter the whole thing, press check. Okay, so we're looking at the tens place again. 13 goes into 20 one time. 10. Reverse input. 8 minus 0 is 8. 10 minus 3, because we're borrowing, is 7. And we've already borrowed, so it's 0. So we're looking at the tens place. 13 does not go into 7. So now we're on the ones place. OK, looking at the ones place, it's not obvious how many times 13 goes into 78. Let's say 5. 5 times 3 is 5. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. We subtract, we get 13. And clearly 13 goes into 13 one time. Okay, for the partial quotient method, there's one extra step. We have to add up all the partial quotients here. So 5 plus 1 is 6, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 1 is 2, so our answer, 13 divided into 3,068 is 236 times. The other way of saying it is 3,068 divided by 13 equals 236. Let's do one more example. We're looking at the thousands place. 51 does not go into 36, so now we're working on the hundreds place. One way to do our first guess 
is we can round this off to 50 and round this off to 350. And that's seven times. We're doing reverse input, so 0, 0. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 5 is 35. Enter that in reverse order. Now we do our subtraction. 0 minus 0. 2 minus 0. 7 minus 7 is 0. 6 minus 5 is 1. Looking at our hundreds place, 51 does not go into 10, so we're looking at the tens place. Again, we can round off 50, 100, two times, and it's in the tens place, so 20. And the answer, the remainder is zero. Now we can just add up our answer. And reverse input, zero, two, seven. Let's do one more example. 50,406 divided by 62. We look at the thousands place, 62 does not go to 50. We look at the hundreds place, 62 does go into 504. Okay, let's make a real bad guess. We'll say 300. It's pretty low. Okay, zero, we got two zeros. Three times two is six. Three times six is 18. Now we subtract. Six minus zero, zero minus zero, 14 minus six, nine minus eight because we borrowed one, four minus one because we borrowed one, check. We could use something bigger than 300, like 400, but since we've already calculated 300, we could reuse it and just do an extra subtract. And we don't have to do this multiply again because we already know what it is. It's 18,600. We subtract again, 6, 0, 2, 11 minus 8 is 3, and 2 minus 1. We can't use 300 again because it's too big. Let's try 200 this time. Two zeros. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 6 is 12. And we subtract. 6 minus 0, 0 minus 0, 12 minus 8, and nothing here because we borrowed. Okay, now we're looking at 62 into 80. We're looking at the tens place, and it goes in one time. And we subtract. 6 minus 0, 10 minus 2 is 8, and 7 minus 6 because we borrowed 1. And we don't really have to guess because we know. We see 186 here, we see 186 here, so the answer must be 3. And all that remains is to add 3, 1, and 3 plus 3 plus 2. That's 8. Now it's your turn to try. 